let's stop this Hey guys, this is patientbeyond.com and over the last few months, I have been noticing a lot of these phone exploding stories. Poco X3 exploding while charging, Oppo A53 heating up in a man's pocket and exploding, Redmi Note 9 Pro blasting after smoke starts coming out of it, Nord 2 exploding while cycling. Well, there are so many stories, Galaxy A02, Galaxy A21, iPhone 10, Oppo F11 and a lot more. Now, I know there are a lot of fake news as well when it comes to phones exploding, but the truth is most of these stories are true. Phones are actually exploding. I mean, scary, right? Because people are actually getting hurt. So the question is, why is this happening? How do you protect yourself from your phone exploding? Well, first of all, there are a number of reasons why a phone can explode. Number one is overheating. Overheating is probably the biggest reason why a phone explodes. Now, a lot of these phones have these fail-safe technologies to make sure the phone remains safe even at higher temperatures, but not all phones do well when there's excessive heat constantly. See, lithium-ion batteries are volatile and too much heat on the battery can cause the battery to swell up, compromise its structure, and at the end, explode. See, there are multiple ways your phone could overheat. I mean, gaming on your phone or calling for long hours when the phone is charging could, you know, do it. Having the phone in your pocket or in your bag with the power bank connected is another example. Also, when you put a phone to charge on the bed, there's not enough space for heat dissipation. So make sure to place it on the side tip. Anyway, it's not just charging, leaving the phone out in direct sun or any hot environment for too long can also explode your phone. Same with the malware on your phone or just unoptimized software overworking the CPU, resulting in overheating. So the point is take your phone's overheating seriously. Don't ignore it. If you feel that your phone is overheating, make sure to check the battery temperature in your phone. I mean, some Androids can show you the battery temperature like MIUI does, but on other phones, you can use an app like AccuBattery, which shows you the temperature, or you can use Battery Protector. I mean, it's an old app, as you can see, but it lets you set alarms for when your phone overheats. I've set it to 50, and if your phone overheats over 50, I think you should take it to the service center. So point number one is overheating. Point number two is battery damage. First up, a little theory. Any external damage to the battery can change the mechanical or the chemical structure of the battery, which might lead to short circuit or overheating and then, you know, explosion. So imagine this, maybe you dropped your phone really hard. It's looking fine, it's working fine, but the battery isn't lasting very long. The phone has suddenly started to overheat. Well, in this case, obviously the battery has been damaged and this can result in explosion. Do note that this can also happen if you have managed to, you know, bend your phone. See, point number three is using uncertified chargers. See, this is something that our parents or our non-techie friends do, you know, buying that 100 rupees charger just because it's cheap. See, this is bad because using non-compatible chargers can really affect your phone's battery. It can short circuit your phone's battery, leading to worse battery life. And yeah, in the worst case scenario, ending in an explosion. So make sure to stick with your phone's charger and charging cable. Don't mix and match charger and charging cables because a lot of these adapters have different wattages and a lot of these charging cables have different standards. Point number four is don't leave your old phone for a long time fully charged or fully discharged. See, a battery permanently dies if it's fully discharged and a battery can degrade faster if it's at 100% charge. So you need to hit the sweet spot. To give an example, we have a couple of phones whose batteries have swollen up. Take a look at this. Yeah, the back of this phone is not removable, but the swollen battery has forced it away. Here's another phone which has its back intact, but you can see the big swelling. Now, I'm not sure if I kept these phones inside charged or discharged, but yeah, this is not safe. See, the best thing to do when you're keeping away a phone for a long time is to just charge it to 50% and then store it in a cool, dry place. I mean, this is the reason when you buy a brand new smartphone, you start it up, you see the phone is at around 50-60% charge. Because companies know that these phones could be in the shelves, warehouses for a long, long time. So they just charge it to around 50-60% to, you know, hit the sweet spot. Also, if you have a phone that looks like this, don't charge it. Don't use the phone, even if it's working. Just take it to a service center straight. Now, apart from all that, one thing you should always do is maintain your phone's battery health. See, smartphone lithium-ion batteries are at most stress when they are at 0% or when they are at 100%. So the key here is to charge your phone to 80 to 90% and don't let the battery go below 15 to 20%. 
Also make sure to use the optimized charging or adaptive charging or any other similar feature that your phone has. Most phones these days have this feature. And this feature makes sure that when you put your phone to charge at night, it goes to 80% quickly and then kind of stops and slows down. The rest of the 20% is charged right before you wake up. This means the phone is not at 100% constantly and that results in better battery health. As to how you can check the battery health on your phone, some phones show it in the battery settings or you can install an app like Ampere or AccuBattery to check the battery health. Look, the bottom line is the chances of your phone exploding is very low. But do make sure to keep these points in mind so that if there's anything wrong with your phone's battery, you can take action quickly before something bad actually happens. So yeah, keep these points in mind and make sure to share this video with everyone so that everyone can be careful. Also, if you have any phone exploding stories that you know of, make sure to write that in the comment section down below so that everyone can know and everyone can be careful. Also, like this video and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.